Thanks for stopping by for another edition of Ask LPKF. We have a great question coming in today from Pete who asks, is it true UV lasers can only cut very thin PCB materials? Well, Pete, the short answer to your question is no, that's not true. However, I'm assuming you want me to expand on that a little bit, so let me do that. Now, you've probably come to your hypothesis based on the fact that UV laser systems operate at lower power levels than other laser systems for cutting PCBs, such as CO2 laser systems. Now, this low power level, coupled with the properties of UV light, gives UV lasers their primary benefit, which is the reduction or complete elimination of the types of stressors that can really damage your boards. Now, this reduction of stress is ideal when you're working with very thin or flexible PCB materials, such as, say, polyimid. However, very thin materials isn't all UV lasers can cut. What do I mean? Let's head on down to the laser lab and I'll show you. So Pete, right now I'm standing next to a UV laser system that has a 6 watt laser source. Now these um, systems that have a 6 watt laser source are perfect for what you mentioned, which are very thin PCB materials. So basically we're looking at materials that are 40 mils thick or less. Now this is going to include your very thin materials or your flexible materials such as polyimide. Now, this is not to say that these systems can't cut materials that are thicker than 40 mils. What it means is that they can't cut them very efficiently. It will require more passes of the laser, which is really going to make um, your cycle times not very good. Now, there aren't just 6 watt laser systems. There are also laser systems that have a 12 watt laser source. Now, these systems are ideal for cutting um, thicker PCB materials such as 62 mils thick FR4 which I'm holding here which as I'm sure you know is a very common uh, PCB material. Now the great thing about UV light with its properties is that despite the extra power you're still going to have the same great stress-free cut quality that you do in the lower power um, UV laser systems. So you won't see any burring, charring, or damaged components which is great. And the other great thing is that all LPKF PCB to paneling systems have the option to be fitted with either a 6 watt laser source or a 12 watt laser source. And this is a new development. So basically if you're working with a lot of applications that are with very thin PCB materials such as the polyimide I just showed you, you might want to go with a 6 watt laser source. Or if you're working with thicker applications such as the 62 mm thick FR4, you might want to go with a 12 watt laser source. Now there's a lot of more information about UV laser systems that can help you decide which machine is best for you. And if you'd like some more of that information, I encourage you to head on over to www.lpkfusa.com slash laser to paneling to get that information. Pete, that was a great question and I thank you for asking it. Anyone else out there, if you'd like your question answered on a future edition of Ask LPKF, go ahead and leave it in the comments section down below and hopefully we'll get to it. Thanks for watching.